So up in there is the panic siren. And the idea behind that is since there's not a full blown security system wired into this garage yet, we can activate this panic siren if we ever saw someone breaking into the garage. So it's wired into a wireless remote here and we can go ahead and test it. And it is pretty loud. So if anyone heard that going off, I'm sure they would absolutely know that we see them. <laughs> and it has a lot of other uses too. For example, if there were ever an emergency here and first responders for whatever reason are having a hard time finding this house, then we can uh, tell dispatch that we're gonna be setting off the siren and have the first responders try and listen for the siren so that they can more easily locate the house. And the house is not built into this garage, it's built next to it, which I'm not gonna show. So now we're in the attic of the garage and right here is where the siren is and I have it pointed as best as I could to the exterior. And I have a second siren right here so I can show you the model. It is an Ademco 702 electronic siren. And if anyone wants to see more about these, I can definitely make a video. They're pretty cool. But um, there it is right there. It's wired into a wireless switch so that I can just activate it wirelessly through that remote and it'll sound off. So here's the switch right here. We'll go ahead and sound it off one more time. Just a warning, this is pretty loud. All right. Yeah. That is pretty loud. <laughs> All right. But uh, yeah, that's the siren and it has a lot of good uses. So I'm pretty happy with it.